Hello everyone, this is a presentation on 3 phase semi converter with RL load. What is a 3 phase semi converter? Before going to that, we will know about uh, 3 phase fully controlled converter. 3 phase fully controlled converters are very popular in industrial applications, particularly in situations where power regeneration from the DC side is essential. It can handle reasonably high power and has ac acceptable input and output harmonic distortion. The configuration also lends itself to easy series and parallel connection for increasing voltage and current rating or improvement in harmonic behavior. Three phase fully controlled converters are obtained at the cost of increased circuit complexity due to the use of six thyristors and their three associated and their associated control circuit. This complexity can be considerably reduced in applications where power generation is not necessary. In that case, three thyristors of the top group or the bottom group of a three phase fully controlled converter can be replaced by three diodes. The resulting converter is called a three phase half controlled converter or semi controlled converter. Replacing three thyristors by three diodes reduces circuit complexity but at the same time prevents negative voltage appearing at the output at any time. Therefore, the converter cannot operate in inverting mode. The three phase half controlled converter has several other disadvantages for a three phase fully controlled converter. For the same firing angle, it has lower input side displacement factor compared to a fully controlled converter. It also extends the range of continuous conduction of the converter. It has one serious disadvantage, however, the output voltage is periodic over one third of the input cycle rather than one sixth as in the case with fully controlled converter. This implies both input and output harmonics are of lower frequency and require heavier firing filtering. For this reason, half controlled three phase converters are not as popular as their fully controlled counterpart. Here the circuit diagram of three phase semiconductor with RL load is shown. Here we use three thyristors here. Instead of three thyristors, we use three diodes here. These three diodes cut off the negative off cycle of the supply. These are the three supply with 120 degree space difference between each other is given to each thyristors. This is the RL load. When thyristor T1 trigger, the T1 starts conducting. The pace voltage VAM appears across the load when T1 conducts. The load current flows through the supply pace winding AN and through thyristor T, T1 as long as T1 conducts. When thyristor 2 is triggered, T1 becomes reverse biased and turns off. The load current flow through the thyristor and through the supply pace winding Bn. When T2 conducts the pace voltage Vbn appears across the load until thyristor T3 is triggered. When the thyristor T3 is triggered, T2 is reverse biased and hence T2 turn off. The pace voltage Vn appears across the load when T3 is conducted. Here are the expected waveforms. This is the R, Y, B frequency sequence. The expected output for a half wave rectification using a three phase semicon semiconverter is shown here. We have simulated this circuit in multi sim. We have built this circuit. Uh, we, we have used three thyristors D1, D2 and D3 of uh, 2N1599 uh, whose uh, triggering voltage uh, is around 5 volts. We used a three phase uh, star connected supply and uh, three diodes we have used here uh, to cut off the negative voltage and three here we used a free uh, wheeling diode and a resistive uh, this is the load and inductive, inductive load resistive and uh, inductive load. This is a CRO and uh, we have used this is for triggering. When we simulate, when you run this, we get an ripple out.
थैंक यू